I'd like to welcome everyone to another Bible study, and today we're going to study Exodus chapter 36. So if you would like to read along with me, that is great. I'm going to start reading verse 1. And Besael and Aholiab and every gifted artisan in whom the Lord has put wisdom and understanding to know how to do all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary shall do according to all that the Lord has commanded. I just want to mention that God gave to those individual wisdom and understanding to do God's will. Here is the principle for even today, when we are committed to the purpose of God, God will supply wisdom and understanding, and he will place it in our heart, so we think wisely and know what to do. Verse 2, Then Moses called Bessiel and Holiab, and every gifted artisan in whose heart the Lord had put wisdom, everyone whose heart was stirred to come and do the work. Even today we should pray, God, give me inside wisdom and understanding, and God, give me your perspective to know your will. Verse 3, And they received from Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of making the sanctuary. So they continued bringing to him freely offerings every morning. And here they were compelled by a generous spirit, and they wanted to give more. Verse 4 and 5, Then all the craftsmen who were doing all the work of the sanctuary came, each from the work he was doing. And they spoke to Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded us to do. Verse 6 and 7. So Moses gave a commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman do any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. And the people were restrained from bringing for the material they had was sufficient for all the work to be done, indeed too much. Verse 8 Then all the gifted artisans among them who worked on the tabernacle made ten curtains woven of fine linen and of blue, purple, and scarlet thread. With artistic design of cherubim they made them. Verse 9 The length of each curtain was... 28 cubits, and the width of each curtain, 4 cubits. The curtains were all the same size, and he coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. Verse 11. He made loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtain on the selvage of one set. Likewise, he did on the other edge of the other curtain of the second set. Verse 12. Fifty loops he made on one curtain, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain on the end of the second set. The loops held the curtains together. Verse 13. And he made fifty claps of gold and coupled the curtains to one another with the claps, that it might be one tabernacle. Verse 14, he made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle. He made eleven curtains. 15, the length of each curtain was thirty cubits and the width of each curtain four cubits. The eleven curtains were the same size. Verse 16 to 19, he coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain, that is, outermost in one set, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain of the second set. He also made fifty bronze claps to couple the tent together, that it might be one. Then he made a covering for the tent of ram skin dyed red, and a covering of badger skins above that. Verse 20 to 30. For the tabernacle he made boards of acacia wood standing upright. The length of each board was ten cubits, and the width of each board a cubit and a half. Each board had two tenons for binding one to another, 
Thus he made for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side. Forty sockets of silver he made to go under the twenty boards, two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the other side of the tabernacle, the north side, he made twenty boards, and their forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the west side of the tabernacle he made six boards. He also made two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle. And they were coupled at the bottom and coupled together at the top by one ring. Thus he made both of them for the two corners. So there were eight boards and their sockets, sixteen sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. Verse 31 to 36. And he made bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle on the far side westward. And he made the middle bar to pass through the boards from one end to the other. He overlaid the boards with gold, made their rings of gold to be holders for the bars and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue, purple and scarlet thread, fine woven linen. It was worked with an artistic design of cherubim. He made for it four pillars of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, with their hooks of gold, and he cast four sockets of silver for them. Verse thirty seven thirty eight. He also made a screen for the tabernacle door of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen made by a weaver, and its five pillars with their hooks, and he overlaid their capitals and their rings with gold, but their five sockets were bronze. I just want to say that this tabernacle was to bring a change among all the nations of the world and also an example for us that when we take on God's perspective, there will be a great change in our life. Amen. So I just want to thank you all for taking part in this lesson. And next time we'll study Exodus chapter 37. Till then, God bless you all.